Hello out there in YouTube world. <laughs> What's up with it? It's your girl, Misha. We at Queens Building Queens. I'm building you, so you build me. Let's get this thing going. So, this is my first YouTube video with Queens Building Queens, and I'm excited. I'm doing it scared. <laughs> so, I'm just going to jump right in. So, I found these cards right here that say today's prayers. Today's prayer with the E-R, no S at the end. So, I pulled a card. And, just to let you know, I got these from Dollar Tree. One dollar, twenty cards. Um, actually, when I'm done going through these cards, I'm definitely going to get some more just regular cards and write on them and have my own daily prayer. Um, so, today I pulled, um, it's uh, Psalms 56 and 3. When I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. Now, what we're going to do is unpack that little verse with so much more and pack it all. Unpack it and then we're going to pack it all in and then we're going to pack it down and we're going to good measure, brace down, shake it together and run it over. <laughs> That's what we're going to do with this scripture. It's so simple and it's so deep. It says, when I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. Okay, so this is what we how we're going to do it. It says, when I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. So first things first, we know and we should, if we don't know, we should know. And you don't know, you finna know. That God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. That's what God has given us. So with saying that, when I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. So if we know that God has not given us the spirit of fear, then... We should already try to start removing that out the way. But because it's already in the word, we should know that the spirit of fear comes. That fear does come. That you will be afraid. That you get afraid. Because it, it says, Psalms 23 says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Which means that fear could come, but it's my conscious decision not to fear it. Okay? That's now we're just going to pause. And let that soak in. Because fear will come. But it's your decision to choose if you're going to be afraid. Okay. Hey, man, that's already good. I could just sip my coffee on that one. Just know it will come. But it's your choice to be afraid or not. So, it says that I will put my trust in you. Put my trust in God. Put my trust in the creators of the heaven and the earth. Put my trust in the one who created me. Like, why wouldn't you want to put your trust in him? Yeah, one more pause. It's that deep. <laughs> but why, why don't we put our trust in God? Let's just start there. We Sometimes we don't put our trust in God because the, the, the spirit of fear has overtaken us or is, is trying to overtake us. So it says that when I'm afraid, we have to first understand that... Um. Let's see. We first have to understand that 2 Timothy 1 and 7 says that God has not given us a spirit of fear. So when we're afraid, we need to understand that that is not from God. Period. It's not from God. He, but he has given us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. So those are the things that God has already given us. So we under, we should know and understand that. When we are afraid or when fear comes and tries to overtake us, that we need to overtake that fear by putting our trust in God. It should be an automatic boom, boom. It should be a just simultaneously. Fear come, trust God. Fear come, trust God. Unless it's like a, a nudge, like God telling you, hey, that's different. That's not fear. That's God telling you, hey, hey, that's not me. So here we go. Fear, trust God. Same thing. Okay, so when I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. So it says, put I put my trust in you. Um, it says, God said, um, Jeremiah says that before I, it says, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I already knew you. So why would we be afraid to put our trust in someone who already knew us before we were even formed before we was even thought of he already knew he already thought of us you know and it and it's it's kind of like whoa, whoa it's kind of like strong when we say that but it's like why 
it's the earth, the world, things of this world comes to contaminate us. And it and it's it's coming to say that you be afraid because you can't see. But no, God is not giving me a spirit of fear, but a power and a love and a sound mind. So when I am afraid, I will trust in you. I will put all my trust in you. And um trust just just trust fully, trust wholly. Um uh, it it's the the another Psalms twenty three, it says that yea though it kinda of goes with this scripture to me, uh with Psalms fifty six, Psalms twenty three. Uh, it says and four it says yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me so with that scripture it says that even though I'm going through fear the valley of the shadow of death is present to install fear it says that I will fear no evil I'm not even going to be afraid because I know for facts that you are with me and that you're riding your staff, you're you are, are comforting me, which means that you are laying a path out. You are guiding me and leading me and you are my comfort. I am trusting you. That's trust with your, if you're following your riding your staff, if you're following through the valley of the shadow, you, you are being comforted the whole time. So when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. So let's, let's consciously make a decision to put our trust in God even when we become afraid or even when fear tries to overtake us. It's a saying that says, do it hard. And when I heard that saying, I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. But then I heard it again and it said, do it hard. That means do it when you're afraid. Do it when you are when you don't know what's going to be the outcome. Do it hard. Do it when it's difficult. Do it when you don't know the out the outcome, but you know that God has placed it on your heart. This YouTube thing, I don't know the outcome. I don't know if I'm going to get one view, but I'm still going to put it out there. I'm going to do it hard. I'm going to put it out there because I know that God has placed these gifts inside of me, and it's for the world. And I don't care if it's one person in the world. That's the world. It's somebody. It's for somebody. It's for me. If I'm just speaking to myself like I am right now, if I'm the only one that hears this over and over again, then that I'm I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Because one thing that I do not want to do is die full. I want to empty out daily what God has placed inside of me. And that requires doing it hard. That requires putting my trust in him. That requires sometimes doing it while I'm walking through the valley of the shadow of death. That requires sometimes doing it while uh, a spirit of fear is, is around me. But I will fear not because I know that he is with me. That requires me to step out on faith and knowing and knowledge and understanding that what has God has put inside of me has to come out. And if it does not come out through me, it's going to come out through somebody else and i'm just like i, I don't want to steal in here get it out get it out through me god i got you and i'm just so thankful just to just to take the step you know i don't got all the fancy cameras lights actions i'm on my google pixel so i'm just like I, send me i'll go you know and i i just want to encourage you to fear not to even when you are afraid to just put your trust in God and go after the goal not the gold but the goal ask God each and every day what is the goal write down the goal it says without a plan the people will perish it says write the plan and make it plain make it clear enough so even a runner can see it that's a backup so when you run it when you're in movement when you're in motion continue write the plan and i just pray over our lives over my life over your life that you will not have the spirit of fear when it tries to come say i do not have i do not possess the spirit of fear god has created me with the spirit of power in a spirit of love and a sound mind a sound mind is saying in jesus name in the mighty name of yashua hamashiach that those those things do not reside in me and you have to pronounce that over your life each and every day 
I'm just telling you today that today is your day. Fear does not live here. And that you will trust in the Lord. And I just thank you for watching this video. Share it. You like it. Thumbs up. Whatever. However y'all do. But I'm here to build you. You're here to build me. Queens building queens. Crowns all year round. 2020 is our year takeover. Here we go. Let's go.